Hello everybody, welcome to my adventures of January 9th, 2020. And today, we have a couple things already going on. The corn it, that we finished up combining is drying over there in the bin. It's circulating right now, so we're pulling the stuff off the bottom, putting it on top. And uh, we, Uncle Billy just left with the auger. He's going to set, take it back to the place we borrowed it from, because they need it now, and we don't, so might as well take it back. Dad's getting ready to go through and scrape all the barns because it's going to get really cold tonight, supposedly, but it's supposed to be 50 tomorrow, so who knows. Uh, he's going to go through and scrape all the barns and bed them down real good so everybody's nice and comfortable. And I'm going to take the truck, take it over to the shop, and uh, park it so that we can load scrap metal in it over the winter time, and then we can take it in a couple times in the winter and then in the spring. All right, didn't have my magnet with me to stick on the truck, so you're going to have to just trust me that we put the truck right there pretty easy to trust me because it's right there so uh, all right so the plan is right now dad's unloading all the harvest tools out of the back of his truck and then he's going to take the skid loader and scrape the barns while he's doing all of that i'm going to be unhooking this grain cart and we're going to be taking this tractor and going and hooking it up on our gale v bottom manure spreader for hauling all the really liquid manure out and, let's get uh, this unhooked also guys i want to mention this light bar up here on top of this tractor it was a 21 and a half inch light bar and I paid $35 for it at our local farm and family farm and home. And uh, it's been an amazing light bar. Uh, it, it just sends out a beam of light um, as far as you can see. So uh, if you guys want to get it, I'm going to link one down below in the description, hopefully around the same price. If you buy it through that link, it will I'll get a small commission and it'll help grow the channel. So So I lied about this being easy to take off. For some reason this PTO shaft won't slide off. So I gotta run and grab a sledgehammer to bang it back. Because I've been banging on it for a while with this. It hasn't gotten it off. Then I was struggling to get this out. Because this, instead of using cotter keys, we use wires. And so this wire with all these little bends in it had to be fed through that hole. Talk about fun. All right, so finally got it figured out. I forgot this cart has a double button PTO shaft instead of one. So you got to push down this side and this side, and then it'll pull right off. And Almost. She was running. I had my fingers off the key for a while and it died again and the batteries are just about dead. So we gotta go get the battery charger and drag it over here and jump it. Alright, so these are the two spreaders we use. 
This one is a Gale Scavenger. Don't know the number anymore because it rusted off long ago. V bottom manure spreader. You can see both sides do this so it comes down into almost like a trough and there's an auger at the bottom and it pulls everything forwards and you have the spreading component on the side so it's also considered a side shooter and this one is good for liquid because it comes down and everything can come in this one is more for pen pack and hard stuff because uh, one it's not as watertight as this so and it's got this pusher the auger in there has a little bit more trouble pulling everything forwards with pen pack end up getting a pile in the back eventually this got this thing and it moves all the way down there you open that up and uh, you got your beaters down here you can tell we haul pen pack and you can tell we bed with round bales cuz uh, got a lot of round bale twine on the beaters all right, so before we can hook the 4960 up to the gale, we have to move a couple things. We gotta get in here with the skid loader and move our ripper out of the way. We'll put it back in here because we don't use that and don't use that. Technically. All right, so instead of moving the ripper, Dad's gonna move the pile of soybeans that's over there. So he's doing that. I'm walking over here and I'm gonna see if the 44, 4440 will start while he's moving that. All right, here we go. Hmm, interesting. Let's head back over to the bunker silo and get the manure spreader hooked up. This manure spreader, something that worked fine when we parked it, uh, we went to pull the door up and this hole all the way from here to about here, well maybe about right in there, this whole piece all the way down is just rusted out to nothing. The only thing that's blocking it is the rubber that we have on the inside. So we're going to be doing some serious refabrication work to this thing and fixing it, fixing it up because look at that, you can, that thing's not going to hold manure at all. Fixed it. Alright guys, so um just quick update it's been about i'd say about an hour by now and uh we went down to the field and got the 8430 the big four-wheel drive because uh we left it in the field because we uh i needed to be pulled out a couple times when we were doing corn so we got that we brought it up put it in the barn that barn right i can't even see my finger the red barn right there that says organic on it uh parked it in there in the corner and then uh Brought the 4440 back from here and put that in the barn. We decided it's just too late in the day to duel it up. It's going to take a while and we just don't have enough time left today. So we put that in the barn. We, You saw we pulled the manure spreader out, the gale, and the whole side of it was just rusted down to nothing. So I'm going to have to completely cut that whole segment out and totally refabricate that side of the spreader. That's going to take at least a week, maybe more. So... It's parked back out, out back where it was before. That tractor's also in the barn. We got rain coming. We got other things we'd rather put money into and work on right now. So we are not working on that manure spreader. Um, Dad's we... scraping the barns now. We got a late start because uh, we went and got the tractor and did some other things. Getting tractors started like the 44 and getting the manure spreader on and then spraying it all down to so that we can work on it if we're going to work on it. So uh, I unloaded the greenhouse out of the back of the farm truck. That's going to be tomorrow's project. So tomorrow's video should hopefully just be doing the greenhouse, renovating that, and uh, might get the cover on, but I think there's a chance of rain tomorrow. So we may do it either earlier in the afternoon after the rain. Anyway, guys, thank and you for watching, and I'll see you next time.